What's up guys, it's Caleb from k Studios and today we're going to be continuing my How I Would Do My Own Godzilla Movie series and we are on um, a movie I made, my own thoughts, my own opinions, how I would do my own Godzilla movie. And this is the fourth installment I believe in this trilogy. fourth or fifth um and it is godzilla versus rodan so yeah um first of all um you know for the designs i would just you, you've already seen the design i would want for godzilla um just a you know design to look like gmk or uh like 19 uh, just just as long as he looks menacing or 84 or something like that he just gotta look menacing and then rodan um Instead of um, walking around, like, when he's moving with his claws and not flying, um, when he's being mobile, I would prefer for him to look like this as opposed to this. So I'd want him to be more, like, crawling on the ground and stuff with his wings folded up. So, yeah, Godzilla vs. Rodan. So let's begin uh, with the story. So the government sends a research team across the world. So they're sending research teams across the world um, to nuclear test sites, or sites that have been tested, like, nuclearly and stuff like that, um, across the world to find, like, new information, um, and they send one team to Australia, and so, they're in Australia, um, they're camping out in the mountains, they're going around on top of the mountains and things like that, and they find this ravine in the mountain range, and so, they camp out in front of the ravine, um, for the night. And then this caterpillar-like thing, um, if you've ever seen Rodan, uh, Rodan's original movie from 1958, I believe, I think that's when it was made, um, yeah, Rodan's original movie, he, there were these caterpillars, um, around, like, uh, his nesting spot or whatever, but yeah, there were these caterpillars, and they came and attacked the test site, and they managed to kill it without it injuring anyone badly, um, but then the next day they go into the ravine, they find more of those caterpillars and but they manage to get to the end of it and there they find a nest with two eggs in it. And then there's this giant sleeping pterod pterodactyl that's obviously Rodan. Um Pteranodon pterodactyl. Don't 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 fuss at me. Uh, but yeah, so they find Rodan. And so they do the stupid decision of um or they they take some pictures and things like that but they make the stupid decision of taking one of the eggs and so they bring it um to a research facility in um Seoul or Seoul I think that's how it's pronounced Seoul in um South Korea and so there's a research uh base there and that's where they take it um and they take it there so um it's in the building and things like that, and uh, th that's where they're keeping it. And then um, Godzilla, he comes, and he starts destroying the city and things like that. Um, he gets inland, and he gets really close to that building where the egg is. And then Rodan comes in, and um, he and Godzilla have an epic showdown. Um, Godzilla gets his butt whooped, but um, he, he leaves. Um, he, he doesn't die or anything. He doesn't get badly injured. He just leaves. He gets his butt whipped though. Um, because Rodan, if, if you've seen Gator the Three-Headed Monster, he gets his butt whooped. That's kind of what I'm going after is, Rodan's supposed to be a tough enemy for Godzilla. Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla in 93, they didn't do it well. Um, well, they did it how they wanted to do it. I like Rodan being a tough monster. That's how I'd prefer him to be. Um, but anyway, so, yes, um, so Rodan... The city's destroyed, but Rodan kind of, like, makes a nest out of the place. A temporary nest, I guess you would say. And, um, they take... Er, and so, the egg is there. Um, oh, and one thing I forgot to mention. The reason that they fight is because Rodan thinks that Godzilla took the egg. That's why, they've, that's why they're enemies in this movie. So, they're not just fighting for no apparent reason. It's because Rodan thought that Godzilla took the ed, egg. So... Um, Rodan's in the city for a while, and then he decides that he wants to live there. And so then the government has a meeting. They say, 
Well, er, okay, so then Rodan leaves. Um, they they said, and, and okay, so the government leaves. Uh, he leaves. Arr, Rodan. Rodan leaves. Oh my gosh, Rodan leaves, and then the government has a meeting. They suggest that um, Rodan is going to back to Australia to get the egg, which they're later right. Um, no big, no spoilers or anything. They're actually correct about that. Um, but they also think that oh, Rodan, he could be, um, he could be the answer to finally defeating and killing Godzilla because this monster. Rodan, he doesn't seem to want to destroy humans as much as Godzilla does. And we would kind of prefer to have Rodan around as opposed to Godzilla. So we could get Go Rodan to defeat Godzilla. That would be awesome. And um, so then uh, they they do another stupid decision and they decide to set Rodan up again. They take the egg and... Um, or Sorry, they find that Godzilla is um sorry if you can hear my stupid siblings they're being loud downstairs um uh so yeah th they find that godzilla he's going to uh he's in the yellow sea but he's awakened and he's heading towards um a, a like a very green and lush mountainous region of japan um in the west side of japan so godzilla's heading towards there and then um, the government, they decide to take the egg and drop it, or not drop it out of plane, but, you know, um, bring it over to where Godzilla is so that when Rodan comes back to Seoul, um, he can find that the egg is gone. And so then he'll go and track Godzilla down and try to kill him. So that's the government's plan. And so Rodan, he's back in Australia now. Um, we're done with that scene with the government. Um, we're back in Australia, and so in Australia, um, Rodan's back at his other, um, you know, his other nest. He's gonna take. He he was gonna take the egg and just bring it back to Seoul, um, but he doesn't know that the egg is the other egg is gone. So, excuse me. Um, me uh, so, me. Um, out of the ground, um, these monsters start popping up like Mothra in her larvae stage. Um, Manda, uh, Gorosaurus, Kamakaris, um, all those good old Monster Island monsters, they start popping out of the ground. And, um, so Rodan, he finds them, and he asks them to, uh, to help fight Godzilla. And they just say, well, we're gonna go, we're, we're gonna go look for Angurus and Baragon, because, um... You remember the previous movie, Angus and Baragon were killed off, uh, that I talked about. Not the previous movie, but, uh, you know, the, the sequel to the first movie that I had the idea for. So, yeah, they're going to go find Angus and Baragon, and they're going to make an island, uh, or they're going to go back to the island that Angus and Bar Baragon and Varen were previously on, and they're just going to stay there, and that'll be like their monster island, so hinting towards a monster island idea, um, but only Manda decides to help out Ver. Er, pfft, only Angus dis. Okay, only Rodan. Only Manda decides to help Rodan out to fight Godzilla. So, um, they go back to Seoul, and um, they find that the egg is gone, and so they. They go, or, you know, they, they get the scent that um, Godzilla has left and he's um, in the other part of Japan. So, you know, Rodan, Rodan's a bird. Birds can are good at picking up senses and things like that. So they're on their way over there. As they're there, the, mil, um, the government people that decided to keep taking the eggs away, um, they're in a helicopter and they're waiting for Rodan to come because they don't think Rodan's going to kill them. Um, on the way there, Rodan, he's flying past. He just runs right into the helicopter. So um, there it's kind of like, oh, good, they've gotten what they deserved. Um, so they're dead. Uh, but yeah, they um, they go and they fight Godzilla. And um, they manage to, they, they can't beat Godzilla. But Godzilla, he's like really injured and stuff like that. 
Um, so they have they have that epic fight scene, but they couldn't pull it off. But um, Rodan he manages to get his other egg back, so he's got both his eggs, and him and Manda they go to Monster Island, and then for them it's kind of a happy ending. And then Godzilla, he goes back to the ocean, really injured and stuff like that, but he goes back into the ocean, and so credits roll. And then we get a post credit scene at the end of the movie with um, all the monsters on Monster Island, and then um, from the shore, wa- um, two monsters, two car- uh, carcasses of monsters wash up, Angus and Baragon. So they found them. Um, and then Manda, you know how he can shoot like electricity out of his mouth? Well, um, Manda, he he like kind of bites them both, but you know, like a like he bites them and then he shocks them and they both wake up. So um, they've revived the two monsters and then that's uh, that's the end of the scene. So um, on the island, you've got Kamakaris, Manda, uh, Kumonga. Mothra larvae, Varen, Rodan, Bergon, Anguirus, uh, did I mention Rodan, and Varen. So you got like 10 monsters on Monster Island. Um, hopefully I didn't miss any. Oh, and Gor- Gorosaurus, so that's like 11. I-, I probably counted one of them more than once. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed and are very excited for the next one. And um Yeah, so I'll be seeing you guys next time. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. I will be seeing you guys later. Bye-bye.